Hello everyone. Welcome to QFox.com. This is Arun Moturi. In this Selenium Automation Tutorial Series, I'm going to continue with the topic XPath Expression Locators. I already covered two parts of this topic in the previous videos, guys. Now in the current session, I am going to the I am going to cover the third part of XPath Expression Locators. That is types of XPath expressions. So I'm going to cover the types of XPath expressions. So guys, let's get started. So what are the different types of XPath expressions available? In the previous sessions, guys, I explained what is an XPath and what are the XPath expressions and what's the purpose and all those stuff, right? And also I explained the hierarchy of HTML so that you can understand all these XPath expressions and CSS selectors, which I'm going to cover in the future sessions in a better way. So guys, in this slide, I am going to explain the types of XPath expressions. So there are two types of XPath expressions, guys. One is absolute XPath expression and other one is a relative XPath expression. So two types of XPath expressions are available, guys. One is absolute XPath and one is relative XPath. So in the coming slides, I'm going to explain this absolute XPath and relative XPath separately. And I'm going to explain why we use absolute, why we have to learn absolute XPath and why we have to learn relative XPath and what exactly is the absolute XPath and what exactly is the relative XPath in a detailed way. I'm going to explain the coming slides. So guys, let's move to the next slide. So the first type of XPath expression that is absolute XPath expression, okay, is the first type of XPath expression. expression. So absolute XPath expressions has the complete path from the root element and is used for locating the elements on the web pages. So the basic purpose of the, the basic purpose of we learning the XPath expressions is nothing but for locating the elements on the web pages, right? Selenium is blind and we, we need to provide Selenium with different type of locators where XPath is one type of locator. So using this kind of locator, Selenium can locate the elements on the web page. That is the basic concept, which I already explained in the previous uh, videos. Now, Coming to the absolute XPath is also for the same purpose. It is also for locating the U elements or finding the U elements on the web pages. Okay. But what exactly is absolute XPath? What exactly is absolute XPath? Absolute XPath has a complete path case. Okay. From the root element to the required tag of that required U element. I will explain you what exactly is that. In the previous uh, previous video, I explained right the HTML source code, hierarchy of HTML source code, where I explained that the starting tag, that is HTML tag in any HTML document, HTML is going, HTML tag is going to the starting tab, that is a top level tag. So which we generally call it as a root tag, right? So here root element is nothing but the root tag that is HTML. Okay. So absolute XPath expressions start from the root element. Okay. Root tag or root element like HTML and then go down the lane to the required tag of the required u element okay so for example if you have to locate this paragraph okay so we need to start from the root element that is html we need there is there are no shortcuts guys we have to go to the path okay we have to co completely cover the path which comes whatever that comes in way between this uh, root element root element tag and the required paragraph we need to cover the entire path this looks simple but in real time the, you may see some buttons or something uh, if you want to create absolute XPath, uh, they are very long, guys. Okay, they they are kind of very long. Okay, they start with HTML and uh, the complete path uh, will be kind of very big or huge. Okay, so let me practically demonstrate it for you guys uh, with few examples uh, of uh, creating some absolute XPath expressions. Okay, so let me switch to the practical mode now. So I have opened this uh, sample application, guys. Guys, that is compendium dev dot co dot uk slash selenium slash basic web page. It's kind of very basic, guys. Uh, it's not complete. The page itself is very basic. That's the reason I have taken this because you can understand it in an easier manner. In uh, in future, I will be taking some complex uh, pages where also I will be showing you uh, the different ways of uh, the things. Okay, on complex pages. For now, to get started, uh, let's start with a basic page like this. Now, guys. Uh, what I'll do is I will, uh, let's say we, we have to, we have to locate this uh, second paragraph on this particular page using the absolute XPath expression. So let me select this and say inspect for now. Okay. Uh, though I select uh, on this and say inspect uh, the uh, complete HTML code of this particular page will be also displayed here. Now select any, 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 any element, any HTML element guys, uh, anywhere on this HTML. And then after clicking here, then say control F, you will get some text box field at the bottom of this page. You can see that right find by string. 
okay uh, and if you don't press properly like if you don't press this HTML, if you click somewhere on this page and say control f you'll not get that here guys you'll get somewhere this is not what we want okay we need to properly click on any html element on this uh, html code then only when the focus is available in this section then only say control f then you will get this text box field okay otherwise you will not get properly fine now we got this uh, text field uh, where we can actually create some xpath expressions so th this is a paragraph i want to locate using the absolute xpath expression so as i already said in order to reach this uh, level in order to read this paragraph what i have to do guys we have to start from the root element what is the root element in this uh, root tag in this complete html code html guys every html document starts with a html tag so i will start with slash html okay root ta root tag or root element i am starting with then after root element there are two parts available okay two siblings are there two siblings the uh, uh, head and body are the children of this html tag as already explained and uh, and head and body are the siblings that is brothers and sisters kind of okay they are the same level okay and uh, to both of them html is a parent so immediate immediately uh, we need to go to the which tag here head or body since paragraphs are there available in the body tag we need to switch we, we need to go to the body tag so what i will do slash body only one one way we can go guys either we have to go to the uh head or body okay if you go to the body body direction you cannot go go back to the head direction again okay something like that. now under body there are two paragraphs guys under body there are two paragraphs slash and uh p okay you have to say p if you select p guys uh the two paragraphs will be located you can see that two are getting here you see two of two is there that means two paragraphs of located so i want to locate only the second paragraph this is the one another paragraph of text i want to locate for that guys uh, there is something uh, in xpath uh, uh, terminology where you can use uh, xpath syntax where you can use square brackets and in between you have to provide the number okay if you provide the one the first one will be located if you to provide two second will be located second paragraph will be you, you see here one of one is there that means only one u element is getting located so don't worry like this two index and all those stuff i will be explaining uh, in detail in the upcoming session guys uh, so for now just uh, understand at a high level so how actually the absolute text path will look like and what exactly is an absolute text path absolute text path means complete path guys from the starting root element to the required u element we have to build the complete path that will become the absolute text path okay that will become the absolute text path you see this absolute text path is able to locate this u element okay so the uh, and also one more thing you have to see here that absolute text path will start with a single slash guys right single slash html slash body slash p of two okay every absolute text path will start with the single slash that's one thing you need to understand and guys uh, this is a very simple example right let me take another uh, example let's say i will go to a different application and i will go to this button uh, where is this button maybe this one go to the right side okay yeah this is the one this is a button button two is there on this particular page rightly guys inspect it uh, you see uh, this button is somewhere you see html is somewhere here and this button is somewhere here just understand that to reach this button tag we need to go through a lot of things right lot of things we need to go and it is kind of very confusing we cannot create such kind of things right it takes a lot of time to build such kind of absolute text path expressions we start from the root element like html then body then some div and okay so here div of uh, something four i guess then div of after div of four div of two okay like that we have to keep on moving down moving down until we get this button okay the complete path will be kind of huge so easiest uh, way to generate such kind of absolute text path uh, let's try that uh, uh, right click on this html code of this particular button okay and say copy and say copy full x path okay now paste it somewhere you see this is the entire absolute text path guys okay so complete path to read this to locate this button we have to start from this HTML body div div of two div of two div of two div of two something like that up to button we have to go okay what is this and uh, say control F paste it here you see this is getting highlighted okay only one of one using this absolute text path expression we are able to locate this HTML tag and that that belongs to this button so we are uh, the, using this absolute text path expression we are able to locate this button that means okay in simpler terms so guys uh, now I hope you understood what exactly is an absolute text path expression absolute text path expression is nothing but complete text path expression okay we start from the root element to the required tag the complete path will be given now let's switch to the presentation mode guys so 
I practically demonstrated uh, the absolute text path expression, which is nothing but the complete path from the root element to the required tag for locating the U elements on the web pages, right? So in the above example, HTML is the root, el root element and the complete path starts from the root element uh, and goes till down, it reaches the P tag, which I already explained. Fine. Now, so how to build this absolute text path expressions, okay, from scratch. I'll be explaining this in the next video session, guys. Next video session is completely on this absolute text path expressions only. So I'm going to explain uh, with lots and lots of examples on how to build the absolute text path expressions uh, in detail from scratch. So in the next session, I'll be covering this absolute text path expressions in scratch, from scratch, okay? So uh, let's wait for the next session to arrive. And uh, before I conclude about this uh, absolute text path expressions, uh, we need to find out why we are learning it, okay? Are we going to use absolute text path expressions in real time? In real time projects where you are actually working, so where you are creating some locators and passing it to the locators, uh, passing it to the Selenium for uh, uh, helping it in locating the U elements. So will you be providing absolute text path expressions for Selenium for locating the U elements? No guys, the answer is no. The answer is no. We are not going to use absolute text path expressions and it's also not recommended or we should not be using absolute text path expression locators for locating the elements in our Selenium automation code. Okay. So then why we are run? Then why we have to learn it? The only reason for learning this absolute text path expressions is that uh, for building, for making our basics strong guys. So if you can learn absolute text path expressions well, then you can easily understand the next type of uh, text path expressions that is relative text path expressions, okay? So for learning purpose, it is required, but for real time usage, you are not going to use guys. Just learn and apply it in the other type of text path expression that is relative text path expression, okay? Just learn and whatever the knowledge you get from this absolute text path expressions learning, just apply it in the relative text path expressions, which are generally used in the real time. But absolute text path expressions will not be used in the real time, guys. This is only for the learning purpose, okay, and knowledge purpose. Fine. So, hope you understood uh, absolute text path expressions. Now, let's move to the next type of text uh, path expressions that is relative text path expressions, okay, relative text path expressions. Relative text path expressions are nothing but the direct or shortcut paths, guys. Okay, so it's opposite of the absolute text path expressions, where in absolute text path expressions, the complete path need to be provided for locating the U elements, right? So it starts from the root element uh, till uh, and uh, it goes to the required uh, required uh, tag of the required U element. But in relative text path expressions, it's kind of shortcut, guys. Direct, okay, direct hit. So if you want to locate the paragraph. If you want to locate the paragraph tag, some paragraph, second paragraph of something like that, first paragraph, second paragraph, then you have to directly go to the paragraph, guys. You don't have to come from the root element like HTML and body and all the stuff. Okay, directly double slash P. As you can see, the absolute text path expressions, which I explained in the previous slide, start with a single slash. Whereas this relative text path expression start with double slash and they directly go to the required tag they don't have to come from the html body and all those stuff okay they are directly going to the required tag element so let me practically demonstrate uh, it for you guys so that you can understand how uh, relative text path expressions are different from the absolute text path expressions okay let me switch to the practical mode now okay i'm opening this uh, very basic page uh, in the chrome browser i opened it uh, so for demonstration purpose let me inspect this guys rightly as i did for the absolute also so this is for uh, relative now. So we got all the HTML code here. Uh, click on some HTML line of code here and say control F so that you'll get this text box field. And in this type double slash P. You see what happening double slash P to one of two elements that is two of two. That means two, two P tags got located already. Okay, using this relative X path expression that is a direct or shortcut path, you're able to locate the two paragraphs. In that if you want to locate the first paragraph, say in the square brackets, provide the index value as one and press enter. You see one of one is there here. That means only one paragraph, that is first paragraph got located. If you want to only locate the second paragraph, you do. It will be filtered and look, the second paragraph will be fil filtered and located as it is, okay? So guys, uh, you don't have to worry if you don't understand this relative X path expressions. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to take a lot of sessions on this, okay? In the upcoming videos, uh, followed by the absolute X path expressions, I'm going to cover a lot of uh, relative X path expression examples so it's very it is kind of very easy guys and you can easily understand okay with my examples and you'll definitely get a lot of confidence out of it so
so but for now just understand it at a high level guys where you need to understand the different types of xpath expressions one is absolute xpath expression another one is a relative xpath expression when coming to the absolute xpath expression they are like complete path you need to start from the root element and go go till down the required tag of the required u element whereas coming to the relative xpath expression they will not start with the root element guys they directly go and hit the direct uh, required tag and look at the that particular tag okay particular u element in a shortcut way so and in real time guys uh, we have to use this uh, relative xpath expressions only we should not be using the absolute xpath expressions absolute xpath expressions are only for the learning purpose whereas re uh, relative xpath are for both learning and practical use also okay in real time we will be using this relative xpath expression now uh, and uh, are, are you wondering like uh, this uh, relative xpath expression for a complex web application complex uh, ui element may be different it is also short uh, for that kind of things guys let me show you in this particular page okay uh, when i when i created some absolute xpath expression for this button it was kind of very huge right like this right like inspect so select this and say copy and copy full path that is nothing but absolute xpath so absolute xpath expression is kind of very long uh, now let's create the uh, relative xpath for that so i will say simply copy copy xpath you see it looks very simple guys it's kind of shortcut guys okay lot of things are there uh, like uh, how how this shortcut can be created and all those things i will be explaining in the future sessions but for now understand that no matter where the element is how how complex the application is you will get this short kind of uh, relative xpath expressions but whereas absolute xpath expressions they become longer and longer for complex applications okay fine now uh, now hoping that you understood uh, at a high level like uh, how absolute and xpath uh, and uh, relative xpath expressions are different now let's switch to the presentation mode so guys in the above example we have used a shortcut or direct path to locate the element on the web page which like uh, building this kind of relative xpath expressions will be explained from scratch in the upcoming sessions guys so don't worry if you don't understand this just understand the differences guys how absolute xpath is different from the relative xpath and all okay this is shortcut path whereas that is complete path that is only difference and uh, the reasons for using is something like uh, apart from uh, learning we will also use it in the real time guys we will not be using absolute xpath in the real time automation projects whereas coming to the relative xpath expressions uh, we, we will be using relative xpath expressions in the real time projects okay so whereas absolute is only for learning whereas relative is for both learning and real time use so here ends this uh, current video session guys hope you understood uh, both types of absolute and the relative xpath expressions in this uh, current video session in the next video session i'll explain building absolute xpath expressions from scratch guys okay you are going to learn the absolute xpath expressions from uh, scratch in detail way in the next next video session so that's it for this uh, current session guys uh, see you in the next session thank you bye